What it do with you, family? It's your boy Q Heen and Redeem. We back at it, man, serving the king. Hallelujah, Lord, you're glorious and mighty, Lord. You're awesome in all your ways, Lord. The God that takes care of us. You're the God of every breath we take, and we praise you. We lift you up this, this morning, this evening, whenever you're listening to this. Right now, we finna get into uh, this installment. It's called A Time to Kill. And pretty much... Uh, I'm going to try to do a whole series on this, and much better than just my phone. But, uh, man, this is uh, rock my heart. I uh, came to a point in my life uh, to where this scripture, Ecclesiastic 3 and 3, rocked my life. And it was like God telling me that, dude, it's time to kill. You know what I mean? And so we're gonna, I'm going to go into the Word. I'm going to start at uh, 1. It says, to everything there is a season and a time. To every purpose under the heaven. Two says it, it's a time to be born and it's a time to die. It's a time to plant and it's a time to pluck up which was planted. And then it goes on to say it's a time to kill. And then it says uh, it's a time to heal, a time to break down, and a time to rebuild. But before we can before we can rebuild, it's a time to kill. And so I took that and I got the own revelation, me, Qheem, that it's time to kill the deeds of the flesh. And so for the last couple of months, uh, I've been purposefully uh, not doing anything secular, man. You know what I mean? I've been personally not listening to secular television pers- just to kill the flesh, to starve the flesh. I've been starving my eyes, starving the flesh, starving, you know what I mean, anything that's not out of spirit. You feel me? And so I would say to you guys that it's a time to kill as well. You know what I mean? It's time to starve the flesh. It's time to purposefully seek the face of God. Not the hand of God, not asking God for anything, but just seek his face. You know what I mean? Make choke the flesh out. You know what I mean? We're not going to give the flesh nothing that it wants. But kill the flesh. You know what I mean? I've been purposely... Uh, going to church purposely uh shout out to my partner Adrian man on Mondays Wednesdays and Fridays he got the prayer line from seven o'clock to eleven o'clock in the mornings and then from you know what I mean I've been staying in the word standing stuff like that stand on a prayer line stand it's a time it's time it's time because once we kill the deeds of the flesh once we there's a parable this dude um it's not a parable in the Bible or nothing, but this dude, it's a story. This dude had two wolves, right? Two identical wolves. And the, uh, a little kid seen his wolves and was like, which one of those wolves are the strongest? And so uh, the man said, the one that I feed the most. And so it's kind of like that. The spirit in the flesh for us, whichever one you f- feed the most is the one that's going to be the strongest. And so we want to uh, feed the spirit, things of the spirit, cut the flesh completely off. I mean, I was one of the type of Christians that I was like, let me see how close to the line I can get up on, uh, you know, what can I do? Oh, I can drink wine, how much I can get drink without being, uh, without sinning, you know what I mean? And so we want to, uh, I don't want to play the fence no more. I want to just take a season and I encourage you guys to just take a season if it's not but a couple of days or a week to go through the process of mortifying the flesh and killing the flesh and and putting everything that's not of God out of your life for a season. You feel me? It's the time to kill. So let's get that uh let's give it a try, man. I'm I'm doing it. If you guys wonder what's going on with me, man, you know what I mean? This is what it is. This is the time to kill. After we kill, then the Bible says then it's the process of rebuilding on a great foundation. That foundation is Jesus cuz now we can hear from God. You know what I mean? When we silence the flesh, now we can directly hear from God and see what direction our life is to go in. And so, you know what I mean? Pro- take that in process and process process it in your mind. And and if that's you, you want to join me? You know what I mean? Let's declare it. It's going to be a time to kill. You know what I mean? Cut the devil off, man, and, and listen to God. Look, I love y'all. It's your boy Q. He to redeem the bite back. Also, um... Before I leave you guys, um, I have my CDs available. I have my CDs available. The body language CD and the water bottle CD are available. The hard copies are here. So um, 
If you would like one, it would be a blessing to the ministry, to me. Uh, grab one. If you already got it, grab one and give it to your friends. I'm selling them both for um, for 10 bucks. You know what I mean? And I'm selling them both for 10 bucks. Seven for one or two for the 10. So inbox me. Let me know. Support the ministry. I love y'all. It's your boy Q and the Redeem. Time to kill. <laughs>